Please subscribe to his channel before more of my friends and family become just like me. Please. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy JB, Mr. Major Man, Mr. 504, here to welcome y'all to my work office. So, as y'all can see, uh, y'all know it's release day Saturday, and I just want to show y'all a few things. Let me show y'all. As y'all can see, you got the Nike box right here for the shadows, but this is not the topic of discussion today. The one is in this bag right here. Let's bring this up right here. As you can see, came from politics. Shouts out to them. Out there. As y'all can see, got a Kobe box. Kobe got the Shaduko, uh, the Shinken, whatever they call it. I I'll get the name later on. Kobe signature. So as y'all know, Mama Day was yesterday. I struck out on the black and gold ones, but. Another Kobe came out and you know we had the championship 16 and a Kobe was a, was a part of that pack So let's get into it as y'all can see the Kobe one pro troll white Del Sol varsity purple Style code 8 a Q 2728 Color code 101 retail on them was $175. Yes, yeah, I'm putting it at this angle because uh, I'm getting a better view out of there and as y'all open the box and move the paper Let's look at them. Ooh Are these nice? These are nice. These are very nice Let's sit this right here Get them out of the box mm -hmm. That's nice All right, the Kobe One Pro Tro Performance Retro, as they call it. Dope shoe, in my opinion. And if y'all been keeping up with me for a while, y'all know I've been told Nike they need to start retroing the old Kobe model. And I guess I can take credit and say that I, they listened because nobody because that was way before they announced that they was gonna put some Kobe retros out. But uh, let's start with the bottom. As y'all can see, we got. A zoom air unit, full zoom air, full length zoom air, and as you can see, we got the varsity purple bottom. As y'all can see, y'all got the carbon fiber shank plate. Now the difference between this and the originals, which I do know, is the originals stopped to about right here. But now that it's a performance retro, it actually stops here. That's to give it more flexibility in uh, your plan. As y'all can see right here, go to the medial, I mean the uh, midfoot. As y'all can see, you got the white panels right here. And on the outrigger, it's still done in purple, that varsity purple. Toward the top, you have a nice little, you have a nice, uh, I want to say it's a crack leather. Uh, and varsity purple on the toe cap for the mud guard. For the white leather, it's actually a nice giraffe. Uh, uh, straight off of a baby giraffe's ass type of leather as y'all can see there and it's a nice thick cut going to the toe as well see that right there see how it webs up on uh, Del Sol swoosh Nike check is actually it's a stiff material right here it's leather on the outside but it's actually stiff on the back you got a number eight right here representing Kobe's first number and also right here you have a carbon fiber you have a carbon fiber uh, heel counter, uh, which I don't know why, and it wraps all the way around. And on the out, on the medial inside of the shoe, you actually had that cracked leather as well right here. It's the same leather as this right here, just it's just in a different textile pattern. You have up tempo on the back in purple with the with the uh, Del Sol backing. You have this, you have the uh, engineered mesh on the. Uh, collar, the hollowed out hole, stitched with the purple, 
uh, neoprene liner actually feels, I don't know, it feels soft, but it feels rough at the same time. I guess that's because of certain angles. On the tongue, on the on the bottom of the tongue, you had a Nike swoosh going up with the purple laces. It had a golden star right here for the championship series. Sharpshoot, these are the uh, final seconds colorway. And on there you have this, this, this chicken, shanken symbol in black with purple with purple stitching. On the inside of the shoe you have Kobe signature in there in purple. On the inside you actually have you actually have the Kobe emblem in purple. I mean uh, in gold. And on the lace tips you actually have you actually have metal aglets with a Nike swoosh on it. Like that. I know my hands are actually off. I'm working. Uh, is there anything else? I don't think there's much to go really go over on the shoe. Like I said, this is a dope shoe in my opinion. Like this is a performance retro. I normally don't get into performance heavily. I, I'll let y'all go look at Nightwing 2303's uh, YouTube for that. He did a nice little in-depth review on these actually. Uh, the, the laces is actually done. It's done like it's actually like a, a cord. But it's dope in my opinion, man. Definitely a shoe that's worth copying, especially if you're a collector. I felt like this needed to go in the collection just like I need a, just like I got a LeBron one in my collection, I need to get a Kobe one in the collection. Uh, when they start bringing, like they already bought the Del Sol colorway out, I need another OG colorway, like that black, like the uh, black and purple colorway that needs to come back out. Oh, and on the lace loops, you do have that Del Sol colorway as well with silver on the bottom bottom tabs Let's see right there but like I said overall my opinion on the shoe is dope I have no complaints about it uh, these were $175 these just kind of popped up out of nowhere because we didn't know what stores were getting them down here in New Orleans but as I said man dope shoe dope dope shoe all right And as always, man, I appreciate y'all tuning in to the video, man. Thank y'all as always. And as always, man, stay true, stay fly, stay blessed. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you haven't. Share the video. Get your boy subscribers up because I'm trying to do another giveaway for y'all, man. Please. And as always, man, appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. And I'll hit y'all on the next video. And I'm JC Baby, and I'm out. You did.